gay marriage. You guys already know where I stand, obviously, the nuclear bomb. <laughs> but anyways, let's take a non-biased look at things. Now, everybody have their right to do whatever that they want to do. It is their own obligations, regardless if it's peer pressure or it's, you know, any influence that can be caused to make somebody make a decision. But it's still on their own to make that decision by themselves. I have no problem with that. None whatsoever. What I have a problem with is people imposing their own obligations on others and they can't do nothing about it. That is what I have a problem with. For example, um, two New York women wanted to host their wedding reception, lesbian women, at some Vermont country in and they refused to do it so because of that um the women filed a lawsuit against them no the business is a business yes but still the business has a right to turn down whoever it wants to turn down at the same time for sure i know that there are businesses that have turned down straight couples for different reasons and never in the history of human dome have i ever heard any straight couple filing lawsuits because somebody turned them down if somebody turned them down they simply went to another place but this come on another example is with churches churches believe in god well most of them and to follow God, there are certain principles that you have to abide by. And one of them, marriage is between a man and a woman. Now for gay couple to come in and say, we want to get married. And because they don't marry them, the gay couple is going to sue that church for not hosting their wedding ceremony. No, the gay marriage thing bill is going to pass. will contribute to that by taking away all the privileges that the church is and the church stands for. Is that right though? I mean, you as a Christian, you see gay marriage is not right. There come some gay people talking about they want to get married and if you don't marry them, they will sue you. Come on, is that is that really fair? Is that is that really something? Just before I decided I was going to do this video, I was watching some gay boy clip on YouTube and he, he made a point. He said, what if the gay ones were the ones who were there in place of the straight ones and the straight ones were now trying to fight for their rights to be straight. Um, if that was the case, then the world would have ended because two gay people coming together cannot bring forth children. That is a fact. The world would have ended. Everybody would have died <laughs> and the world would have been just a place filled with trees. trees are asexual so they don't have to worry about being gay yeah and that's it human beings will be no more which brings me to the point of naturality a man and a woman comes together and have a baby when they have a baby that baby grows up to find somebody of the opposite sex and have a baby two gay people coming together what is the point of that really come on there's no point in that it's really really mind disturbing though another thing that the gay marriage people are trying to do is they try to justify the justice for slavery to that of homosexuality but come on let's be real here people were being used as slaves people were being destroyed considered things now the moral obligation stands on one thing and that is on the bible because when martin luther came and all the people came they were taking their moral obligation from the bible and that is why we have the freedom that we have today as black people you cannot use that same moral obligation for homosexuality because first of all homosexuality is against God's word so how can you use the same moral obligation that was given to injustice of slavery to that of homosexuality it is not the same thing furthermore I believe in the Bible I believe what God says and God does not hate gay people God asks man to turn from their sinful ways now because others doing sin doesn't mean you have to make another sin correct because others doing sin that is still wrong the reason why people are gay is for their own loss and when gay people get married they have this thing about trying to adopt children um yes you may be able to take care of children but when you look at natural selection i mean a man and a woman comes together they have sex the sperm goes into the the egg and the egg gets big and you get the point but when two gay people come in the guy shoots his sperm inside another man's yeah and shit comes out <sighs> that is it Take an orange tree for example, that orange tree brings forth oranges, obviously. And you pluck out that orange and you put it in an apple tree. What will happen to that orange will eventually die. Taking that into consideration with gay marriage and straight 
marriage is the mother and father are the ones responsible for raising the child into the best possible way necessary not just physically but emotionally and spiritually as well the person might not die physically but morally spiritually emotionally physically that person can be challenged what is wrong with the world is that we're trying to accept everything what is wrong soon enough people gonna have sex with animals well it's happening already soon enough people gonna marry animals well it's happening already what's next the, instead of they trying to correct the wrong yes you have bad fathers yes you have bad mothers everybody is not perfect putting that child into a gig couple doesn't make it better you know they're still human beings what we're supposed to do is try to correct what is there not make it worse yeah, we're supposed to correct the wrong, the right the wrong. We're supposed to teach people how to be fathers. We're supposed to come together as a society so we can build fathers. We can, you know, we're supposed to correct that so that children growing up can have the, the better moral obligation. They can know what's wrong and what is right. We should learn to try to fix what is broken instead of trying to bring more broken stuff in hoping that the correction will be made. In accordance to gay marriage, righting the wrong does not make it right. It'll never make it right because the moral obligation still stands. Without God's word, there's no morals. Man will do as they please. That is where the moral values come from. That is how we know what right and wrong is. Although people have the right to do what they want, but at the same time, because when gay marriage is accepted, the next thing that's down the line is marriage for animals. I cannot marry my animals. My animal, anyways. My animal loves me. I cannot marry my animal. It has already happened already. So, what's next though? Anyways, this is my point of view on gay marriage. You don't have to accept it, but this is just my point of view and I think that it's non-biased. Trust me, I'm non-biased right now. <laughs> For those who know me, they do have non bias right now. But anyways, yo, I'll be releasing videos every Wednesday. Please subscribe to the channel. Right there. It's up there. Please subscribe to the channel. And make sure to share this video if you agree, if you disagree. Um, let me know in the comments below and um, thanks for watching.